This country is one of the few countries in the world with no military. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we'll be exploring the archipelago of Vanuatu, a country in the South Pacific, known for its breathtaking landscapes and diverse marine life. Join us as we explore the geography, history, and cultural facts about this small archipelago. The Republic of Vanuatu is an island nation located in the South Pacific Ocean, about 1,750 kilometers or 1,087 miles east of Australia. With over 80 islands, Vanuatu has diverse geographic features across its rugged volcanic landscape, including mountains, rainforests, rivers, coastal plains, and coral reefs. I'm going to give an overview of the major physical geographic components of Vanuatu. Vanuatu's islands are primarily of volcanic origin, with narrow coastal plains. The islands are mountainous, with over 60 volcanoes across the archipelago, formed by volcanic activity and tectonic plate movement. Some volcanoes remain active, like the accessible Mount Yasur on Tana Island, which attracts tourists. The highest peak is Mount Tabwemasana at 1,877 meters or 6,158 feet elevation on the island of Espiritu Santo. Due to the volcanic terrain, the islands have fertile soil good for agriculture. Many of Vanuatu's islands are covered in dense rainforests full of biodiversity, though some central mountain areas are more barren. Coastal mangrove forests and some grassland plains are other ecological zones. Vanuatu's expansive coral reef systems off the coasts nurture diverse marine life. However, deforestation for agriculture and logging threatens the rainforests and reef ecosystems. The Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu has a population of around 272,000 with a rich cultural heritage and diversity across its over 80 islands. The indigenous Melanesian people make up over 98% of Vanuatu's population. Besides the Melanesian majority, small percentages of Europeans, as well as Vietnamese and Chinese, also live in Vanuatu. Historically, Vanuatu saw an influx of French and British settlers, leading to a partnership between the British and French as ruling powers over the New Hebrides colony before independence in 1980. Today, almost all Ni Vanuatu identify as Christians, though many integrate Christianity with traditional spirituality and ancestral veneration. Presbyterianism made headway thanks to British influence, followed today by various denominations, as well as the Church of Christ and Seventh-day Adventists. Cargo cults focusing on obtaining material wealth through rituals also persist in some areas. There is substantial language diversity in Vanuatu, with 113 indigenous languages spoken across the islands, although English and French remain as the main languages. The most widely spoken native language is called Bislama, which emerged as a pidgin trade language combining English vocabulary with Melanesian grammar and sounds. As such, many Ni Vanuatu grow up multilingual, straddling indigenous traditions and colonial influence through language. The cuisine of the islands of Vanuatu features delicious dishes drawing from local crops, seafood, and cultural influences. These are a few iconic Ni Vanuatu foods you have to try. Citrus baked fish in coconut cream, this mouth-watering baked fish dish combines the amazing seafood caught fresh daily around the islands with coconut milk and local citrus fruits or lime juice. The creamy, savory coconut sauce perfectly complements the tender fish. Vanuatu coconut cake coconuts are ubiquitous across the islands, used extensively in Nai Vanuatu cooking. This decadent coconut cake layered with frosting is a beloved staple dessert, especially for special events and holidays. Sweet and simple perfection. 
The impressive coconut crab is a delicacy and specialty in Vanuatu, served roasted, fried, or in soups and stews. These large land hermit crabs have powerful claws that allow them to crack open coconuts, hence their name. Their meat provides a unique decadent island flavor. Laplap. -lap. The national dish, Laplap, -lap consists of vegetable or meat. Ingredients wrapped in banana leaves with coconut milk and baked in underground stone ovens. Traditionally prepared for ceremonies and celebrations, this iconic comfort meal highlights native cooking techniques. The islands of Vanuatu have been inhabited for thousands of years since the first peoples arrived via canoe from other parts of Melanesia. Vanuatu has a rich history ranging from early village societies to European colonization to independence in 1980. The first settlers likely came from New Guinea and the Solomon Islands over 3,000 years ago, establishing small villages along the coasts to fish. Agricultural practices were also established inland. Sand drawings used for rituals and social events also emerged as an artistic tradition. For centuries, these small communities had little contact with outside groups before European arrival. Leadership was mostly decentralized by village elders. The first major foreign contact came in 1606 when the islands were spotted by Portuguese explorers. Over the next centuries, British and French colonists began arriving and establishing plantations. By the late 1800s, the two powers created an Anglo-French condominium as joint rulers, known as the New Hebrides. Colonists introduced diseases that harmed indigenous islanders, while the British and French battled for control and imported laborers from Asia. In the 1970s, independence movements gained steam under the leadership of Father Walter Linney. After wrestling some autonomy in the late 1970s, the New Hebrides became the Independent Republic of Vanuatu in 1980, with Lini as the first Prime Minister. The young nation then began establishing its own national identity and democracy, joining the United Nations that same year. Political instability, natural disasters, and economic hardship would continue to challenge the new country. Vanuatu has a small economy that relies heavily on agriculture, fishing, and tourism. However, the development of Vanuatu's economy has been hampered by its remote island location, vulnerability to natural disasters, and lack of resources. A remote Pacific island with lush rainforests, sandy beaches, and a close-knit village community, there are a few roads and resources in the country. Ni Vanuatu ten small gardens growing yams, raise chickens or pigs, and go fishing on traditional canoes to feed their families. Some essential goods like fuel and medicine have to be shipped in. Money is scarce in much of rural Vanuatu still today. In the 1980s, Vanuatu's leaders saw opportunities for tourism to drive economic growth, showcasing their tropical island paradise to wealthier visitors and investors abroad. Luxury resorts and hotels began dotting places like Port Vila and Luganville, catering mainly to Australian and New Zealander tourists seeking a vacation getaway. Tourism dollars offered jobs and brought modern amenities, though revenue reaches mainly urban areas. Many villages saw little improvement to daily life. Handicrafts, sand drawings, and cultural festivals did blossom, though. Just as Vanuatu's economy shows faint signs of takeoff, external shocks seem to knock it back down. Poor infrastructure leaves roads and buildings vulnerable to frequent cyclones hitting the islands. The small economy depends heavily on aid money. Volcanic eruptions like Ambai Island in 2018 can displace thousands, while climate change poses an existential threat to the low-lying nation. If you enjoyed this video on Vanuatu, you'll love this next one.